Hello everybody, Bioshock11 here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own texture pack, so yeah. I've tried figuring out how to do it just by watching a bunch of YouTube videos, and it just looks so complicated, and I later realized that it's way more simple than you think. So, to start, you're going to need to download two things. The first one is going to be paint.net. So, uh, to download that, I'll have a link in the description below. So yeah, you can download this. Second thing you're going to need to download is an MCPE. I just do that short for Bedrock Edition or whatever. Um, you're going to need actually a sample texture pack to get started, just to edit that texture pack. So we're going to just start with... There we go, the original textures texture pack, so we'll just do this. Uh, New default 16 by 16 Minecraft PE texture packs. So yeah, we'll download this. So here, the we want the MC pack. So you'll just download this. There we go. So we'll click it. It'll open up Minecraft. There we go. Import started. Successfully imported the new default texture. So now if you come to settings. You come to global resources. Here's my packs. Uh, the, here's my pack I'm working on right now. Here it is. The new default textures. So we can now X out of Minecraft and this. And now we're going to open our file explorer. In the top here, you'll type in percent app data percent. There you go. Click enter. It'll take you to this folder. You may not have the exact exact folders in here, but you look something like this. And it automatically puts you in roaming, so you want to go back to here. And go to local instead. You'll have a bunch of different folders. You go to packages. And you'll have a bunch of random folders with a bunch of random codes and stuff. You'll scroll down until you see one called Minecraft. I'm sorry, Microsoft.Minecraft. And then a bunch of numbers. So you open that one. We're now in the Minecraft full files we'll go to local state you guys can follow along you can pause this if you need to we'll go to games com.mojane and resource packs now in here you'll see um your different resource packs so the one we downloaded um i can't remember which one it was new default i think yes here it is so the new default so you click on this one and you'll have this so, if you want to change the icon for the thing, like as you saw before, it showed my logo as the icon. Let's just say you want to make this picture your icon. You will take it and drag it into here. And you can rename it. Actually, we can delete this one first. And then we can rename to pack icon. There we go. And then you can change the name and description of it by opening this and this is where it gets a little complicated trust me it's still pretty easy the name see so you can change it the name right here you can change it to test pack and the description we can change this to just testing for a video all right cool now we can save and close it and Next, we'll go to the textures, and you'll have a whole bunch of different stuff in here, all blocks, entity items, miscellaneous models and stuff. So, if you want to change the textures to items, you'll click on it, and you'll have a list of all the items in the game. Here's all of them in here. So, let's say you want to change one. You'll right-click it, and you'll open with paint.net. As you saw, we downloaded that earlier. This is what you can be using to edit the textures. So you can zoom in, and here you have it. You've got the color wheel and everything. You can change to pencil, the color pick picker, and stuff like that. So if you wanted to just, like, do this, and then click on the pencil, you can just change it like this. Now, I'm currently working on a texture pack called the Peister Pack, where the main color is like aqua. You can use um, shortcut keys and stuff as well. So let's just change it. Make it look a little bit more flat, cartoony. And 
there we go. So then you can save. Just click OK. I don't know what any of that stuff means. And then exit. Now when you open Minecraft, I hope this is pretty easy for you to follow. It's not that difficult. You can watch the video a couple times if you need to. Alright, cool. We now have Minecraft. My skin is not loaded. But if you go to settings, and you go to global resources, and you go to my packs, here it is, test pack, just testing for a video, which I forgot the E. So let's say we want to activate that. Deactivate these real quick. Then it'll say loading resource packs. You can open a creative world. And I'll show you. So if we search for the armor stand. Here it is. The exact same thing we did, obviously it's kind of sloppy. If you place it down, oh my goodness, well, okay, it, it'll show the old, it'll show it normally, which, I mean, if you want to change it so it looks like this thing in my hand, you have to go to the entities and change that. I'll show you how to do that real quick. So you come back to the textures folder, you click on entity, and we have the armor stand first stop. Okay, cool, so we'll click it. And we will open with paint.net. And here you go. You can basically change the textures and everything. Add stuff to it. I honestly don't know any of that. What any of this is. But okay. So you change. Yeah. That's basically it. You can erase stuff if you need to. The eraser isn't like a perfect eraser. Like it'd be nice if you can erase just pixels at a time. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Alright, so there you guys go. It's pretty easy to do. I, I've looked and looked for tutorials, and there's just never been any as simple as this. So, yeah, we have models. Look, here's models for armor. You can change these. For, like, diamond armor, you can change how it looks and stuff. All of these different layers and stuff for everything. You change anything you want to. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos. And don't forget to drop a like if you found this tutorial useful. And share it with your friends if you want to as well. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.